Okay, now we're on to David Lynch. And I put him last because we've talked about him a lot. Yes. And I think you and him have very similar, like, minds. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know why I think that, but you both meditate yeah, we a both, lot. Yeah, we both practice the same kind of meditation, yeah. transcendental meditation. And he's, uh, he's the, like, the founder of the David Lynch Foundation, which... Is promotes it, transcendental meditation. Yeah, right? exactly. And they help bring it into schools and all sorts of communities who would benefit. Like I remember him saying at one point that the one the only thing he believes is truly life changing is transcendental meditation. Mm, mm. Like that will change your life. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny that. So I have a few quotes from him, one of which that I, I really love this. It's a quote from Anna Karenina, a book. I don't know if it's in the book or it's just by the author, but there, the, he agrees with it. It's be regular and orderly in your life so that you may be violent and original in your work. Hmm. Which, hmm. have you seen any David Lynch movies? Um. Real I, weird. I don't think I have. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know if they're your kind of film. They're kind yeah. of, they're, they're out there. They're yeah. weird, odd, kind of wild, crazy. Uh-huh. But he's a big fan of Habit. So, yeah. for seven years, he went to Bob's Big Boy every morning at 2.30 a.m., Mark Wahlberg, <laughs> and he got the same shake, like a vanilla shake. I don't know if it was vanilla. I can't remember. Okay. But he got the same shake every morning for seven years from Bob's Big Boy. Is that like a like a shake place, I guess? I like assume. I, I assume it's like a 50s like diner yeah. type of deal. <laughs> and that is habit right there. That yeah, I there mean, is that's not a single yeah. There is not a single thing I've done consistently every day for seven years. Brushing your teeth, maybe. No, I've never. <laughs> maybe you've missed a day. I probably missed a day. Yeah. Yeah, I bet he's more consistent than me. I also, at two thirty a.m. That's too early. As we spoke of early earlier. <laughs> Why? Like maybe yeah. maybe it's only like because you know they're like all night places. Right. Maybe it's right. only night. Maybe he has to get it at 2.30 a.m. <laughs> Man, there's something to be said for, you know, we have two people on this list who wake up at, un or at least at one point in their life, they woke up at ungodly hours. Right, yeah. So, there is the 5 a.m. club, Robin Sharma. <laughs> would you put Plug more, would you put more weight into someone who wakes up at 2.30 a.m. for, like, fitness purposes or someone who does it out of habit? Like, which of those is more impressive, you think? Um, I would say for fitness, yeah. although I think that it's important to prioritize, uh, sleep before getting right. an extra workout in. Yeah. Okay. Also, I don't have one. He goes to bed. Maybe he mm. goes to bed at like 5 PM mm. and gets mm. like nine hours of sleep or whatever. Maybe. Uh, I have another quote from him, from him. When life has an order, then you're free to mentally go off any place. You've got a safe sort of foundation and a place to spring off from. Mm. So once again, he enjoys the order that comes with routine and habit. Yes. And he believes that's that to be part of his creative process. Like, because as a human, he is so orderly and routine, his mind can go off and come up with these creative, wild ideas. I think that's fantastic because I'm a very, I live a very regimented life. Right. In terms of my routine, especially morning routine and evening routine and getting my meditations in there and eating routines and just, uh, I think that it definitely frees me up and people who get overwhelmed with jumping into routine, what I always tell them is just, you when... gestured to me, <laughs> which is true. <laughs> Not I... If you're thinking about starting a routine, it's the routine that'll add more freedom into right. your life. Yeah. Okay. Thank yes. you. Yes. Not Isaac or Isaac. <laughs> Definitely Isaac. Definitely. That could be your name. <laughs> Definitely Isaac. It's not random. Definitely Isaac. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> anyway, one last quote from David Lynch. And I like this one a lot. And I was I was thinking that you'd probably pick him as healthiest, mm -hmm. given his like transcendental meditation history. Yeah. Maybe not the Bob's big boy shake yeah, thing. Not a big fan like Gwyneth Paltrow but... for like strict factual like health probably <laughs> yeah. has him beat, but for yeah. like mental health, uh -huh. he's probably more good. Yeah. Yeah. I thought given that you, I presumed you were going to pick him, this would change your mind and you'd pick someone else. Mm. He, uh, this is a quote. I wake up and I brush my teeth and I use the bathroom. Then I have a cappuccino and some cigarettes. Then I meditate. 
Then I have either some amaranth nectar or a small smoothie with protein powder and blueberries and peaches. And then I go to work. So all good stuff, except for the cigarettes. Yeah, that stuck out. That yeah, definitely. That's, wow, he, he smokes. Huh? He does. Okay, but this is, I listened to a master class that he did. Okay. You, you know master class? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, he said that he, people always say, like, stop smoking. You're like old, like you're going to die. He's, he says, like, I didn't smoke for 40 years. Like he was, he smoked when he was a youth, stopped, and now he does it again. Huh. And now it's just part of his routine. Hmm. I, I, I can't get over yeah. that as, as you probably predicted. I, I predicted this. There's no, there's no worse thing you can do. I've shadowed, uh, sleep medicine slash, uh, pulmonary critical care doctor and he's also a smoking uh, smoking cessation okay. specialist so he helps people quit smoking yeah and he gets paid to have people quit like good money and it's like you wouldn't have that in a standard healthcare system if it wasn't one of the most critical things there is not a single do. health benefit to cigarettes nothing at all like, like i don't i can't there's no benefit imagine i guess to try to play devil's advocate maybe the fact that it provides some sense of relief but then that yeah. relief is only provided because you're an addict it's only short-lived right yeah. so it only it's takes temporary you, and then you're addicted it only takes you back to baseline yeah is what happens so so man Sorry, unfortunately david lynch yeah man. you've lost isaac's fandom yeah he hates you if you're out there david lynch <laughs> got an enemy watch watch your back wow at least he yeah. meditates but i mean he also would say stuff like his writing process is at the end of the day, he drinks some red wine and then he has to go outside because his wife doesn't like that he smokes cigarettes. Yeah. So he smokes cigarettes and drinks wine and then writes like his ideas and mm -hmm. whatnot, like his film ideas. He writes the script perhaps and whatever's on his mind. Yeah. At a night. And like routinely, I, I appreciate the fact that he's so routine driven. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a lot of benefit there. Just like, set out the smoking for yeah. I mean you keep the red wine like but for a vape get rid of the cigarettes get a jewel <laughs> okay I'm not advocating for that yeah, either me, me neither I should <laughs> maybe, clarify maybe meditate an extra time I please David we want you around for a while man yeah, you, you're so a great, much great work great human have you seen his YouTube channel no I haven't it's adorable he's just an old man and every morning he does the weather report in LA oh <laughs> that's fantastic every single morning we want you around for yeah. many more years david it's please like, i don't know why he's like quit. That, that's become a routine for him he was saying something like i don't really like doing it anymore but people expect me to and i want to provide that for him and my, i don't really like doing it <laughs> and my favorite thing is like in some of the videos that i've seen because i don't watch it every morning i'm not yeah. in la spoiler alert right. guys if you're trying to find me i'm not in la not ran is not, not, ran in, is LA. not in la figure it out yeah. he doesn't even like check the weather app like there's like a window in the back he like peers out he's like oh it's pretty pretty sunny uh <laughs> blue skies probably like 70 degrees yep and then he's yep. like he's like have a good day and then it ends <laughs> <laughs> such a weird dude yeah i love him yeah i, I would i would love to just hang out with that guy mm -hmm. if he's outside and i'm inside and we can talk through like a window so yeah. i don't have to get smoke on me yeah <laughs> none of that secondhand smoke yeah. man honestly like the smell i'll just be covered in it for like Ugh. yeah yeah anyway that's all we have for today in terms of healthy celebrities okay do you want to do some sort of ranking of them all yeah let's rank them I, i'd say uh, i'll stick with gwyneth paltrow gwyneth. okay yeah number, number one. one then of course my boy, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise, baby. <laughs> I'm never going to switch to the can be converted to Scientology, but... Oh, you can try, bud. I mean... Tom Cruise, you if you're can, out you there, we would love to have you on and you just try to convert us. Yeah. Yeah. No, and we, then, we would love to hang out with you, man. And then we can yeah. get married and you can divorce me at 33. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm we, down. <laughs> okay. So, Tom, number two. Number two. Number three. So we've still got The Rock, David Lynch, yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Mark, David Lynch, Mark Wahlberg. It was, uh, Mark didn't have... We, we didn't talk we didn't about much of the nutrition. Yeah. Uh, let's just assume that it's similar to The Rocks. Right. Because they're both kind of like beefy boys. Right, right. Yeah. I will go with... Um, I'll go with 
Mark Wahlberg okay. for number three because I doubt that he has the that high amount of protein. Yeah, I also does. think like just given the schedule, like his like daily schedule alone, yeah, he's got a lot of dedication. Yeah, so I assume that he's just dedicated and devoted to eating healthy. Yeah, like I assume he doesn't eat that badly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, with that assumption, number three, The Rock, number four. <laughs> oh my. They, I can't get over the the cigarettes. The, the cigarettes. I can't okay. get over that. But what about the ping and bottles? Is that worse than the cigarettes? <laughs> if he isn't for the he health, isn't drinking it. Yeah, for the health, it's yeah. not worse than cigarettes. Yeah. But for being cool yeah cigarettes are so cool they're not cool don't smoke no yeah uh, they're not cool they're not cool yeah wow david lynch got last yeah he got last but i'd say that um i still have a great deal of respect for okay let's say meditation pick out the cigarettes what place would he be in oh man i would say top three i would say number three okay yeah again i didn't get that many nutritional facts about him yeah mostly because the cigarette thing i knew was gonna yeah really knock him down a few pegs yeah yeah but I, you know still overall i think with all of his other healthy habits he'll end up living for a while a longer thousand more years but yeah you know maybe a few thousand more years oh, if you yeah, hopefully quit the yeah tobacco so yeah uh, take a lesson from tom cruise david lynch Yes. No smoking, no drinking, no drugs. Yeah. No, that's... Put dots on your face. <laughs> Put you dots bored. on your face. Convert to Scientology. Get, become a Scientologist. <laughs> you can afford it. David Lynch. Yeah, you're David did. Lynch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. I'm glad we did this. Yeah, this was fun. Yeah. I, I look forward to doing a part two at some point. Oh, yeah. Should we hint at what the next part was? Yeah, was let's be? hint at it. Yeah, why How not? we hint at this without just saying that it's going to be athletes? <laughs> Well, it's going to be athletes. Okay, yeah, it's going to be athletes. Send in recommendations if you have any. Yes. We currently just have Tom Brady, who is the Tom Cruise of sports. So Tom Cruise of sports. Except he kisses his kid. <laughs> so he's worse. <laughs> yeah, right. so looking forward to that. All right, everybody, goodbye. Peace. <laughs>